This is Late Night Health. This is the radio show that cares about the most important part of your life, your health. During the next hour, the insane Daryl Wayne and I are going to take a look at some health aspects that touch each and every one of us. We're going to begin our program in a few minutes talking about cellular health. A little bit later on, Daryl and I are going to chat about what's on our mind. We'll talk probably about COVID, and we'll wrap up with our uh, regular contributor, Robert Clancy, uh, from Guide to the Soul. Um, Right now, we're going to go to uh, Los Angeles, California, which is like 36 and a half miles from where I live, and we're going to go speak with Robert uh, Freed. Uh, He is a former Hollywood executive turned Chromadex CEO. Chromadex is a bioscience and supplement uh, company. And we're going to talk about movies, maybe television, maybe talent. And of course, we're going to talk about cellular health. Rob, welcome to Late Night Health. Thank you, Mark. It's nice to be here. So, you know, all your life you wanted to be a producer in the movie business? No. My training, academic training, I went to college, uh, labor history, economics, and then I received an MBA, uh, studied finance and marketing. And then early in my career, I worked in strategic planning and business building. So it just happened that that first job was in the motion picture industry. And one thing led to another, and I became a film producer. But I was much more interested in enterprise building and managing than in films per se. But doing a film like, I mean, you, Rudy, uh, which is a, it's a great film. Thank you. Um, you're welcome. I mean, sense of pride, creative freedom, something like that, or just the numbers for you? No, 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 no. I, uh, whether you're operating a bioscience company or an e-commerce company or a film company, uh, I am of the personality that I put my passion into my work. So as a filmmaker, I, I put much of my soul and my personal uh, perspective into anything that I do. And Rudy is one film that I have great pride in, and I invested a great deal of myself in that pr- project, uh, as, as is the case with many of the films, all of the films, truly. Give us another couple of your movies, and we'll move on to uh, to health. I, I produced uh, So I Married an Axe Murderer with my wife, Nancy Travis, and Mike Myers. I produced uh, Collateral with Tom Cruise. I produced Godzilla with Matthew Broderick. I produced a movie called Boondock Saints. Uh, I also was the executive uh, working for another company in charge of movies like uh, uh, Hoosiers and Bull Durham. Oh. Uh, and quite a bit. I mean, I was in the business for a number of years and was involved in the production of a large number of films. Well, can you use the same skill set from making movies, having to deal with big personalities like a Tom Cruise, uh, and and bring that down to Chromadex? Yes, it's interesting. Okay. You know, many of the scientists <laughs> that we work with, we have two Nobel Prize winning scientists on our scientific advisory board, one from Stanford, one from Cambridge. We have the head of the Department of Neurology from Harvard, and we have the inventor from City of Hope of nicotinamide riboside, the core molecule and ingredient upon which we base the enterprise. And these people, in many respects, are uh, quite gifted, quite talented people, but in some ways there's a similarity to dealing with some of these researchers who have ideas and innovations and they bring them to life when you're dealing with artists. The fact is that right now with COVID, people are turning more and more to supplementation. And uh, here at Late Night Health, we talk about supplements all the time uh, because that's my personal belief that let's try something natural before we we get a big pharma uh, drug into our system. Thoughts on that? You know, a molecule is a molecule. Whether that molecule is developed into a drug or whether it's developed into a food or whether it's developed into a dietary supplement uh, sometimes can be arbitrary. But if you put it, a molecule inside your body, there's a reasonable chance that it's going to have an impact. And But some of those can be 
bad impacts rather than good impact. That is true. Right? I mean, with, uh, uh, you know, a lot of big pharma drugs, there's a, a whole ad campaign right now on uh, something for acid reflux. Uh, and if you've taken this stuff, uh, you might be compensated because it might have caused cancer. You know, and that's after being on the market for 10 years. They've made millions and millions, hundreds of millions of dollars. One of the things that I have found, I would say, disappointing, but not surprising, has been the behavior of some of the companies that operate in the dietary supplement space. And can you be more specific? I'm sorry. What they've done wrong, in your opinion? Well, I think fundamentally there's an issue here. The the FDA, 20 years or 30 years ago, had a decision to make. Uh, Does dietary supplements fall under the drug division, or are they going to form a separate division for dietary supplements? They chose the latter and initiated a law called Deshaies, which uh, created a set of requirements for dietary supplement companies, but has not been well enforced. It's an underfunded division, the dietary supplements division, and it's difficult to enforce. So gradually what you've seen is the onslaught of uh, emerging dietary supplement companies that sell products that do very, very little, but market quite a lot. And in a few cases, they actually have done damage or harm. Uh, You would think that if one were uh, interested in getting into the healthcare space in any way, that their primary motivation would be to help people's health. Absolutely. But, But we... You know, there are plenty of examples of uh, companies that seem to be motivated more by short-term profits. How did, how did you decide to get involved with Chromadec? I mean, you're the CEO. Um, what motivated Rob to go from producing films to producing pills? Well, I've always had the personality that I've been attracted to innovation and change and, I, and technology. And I first learned about the science behind Chromadex uh, more than 20 years ago. At the time, I was in my 30s, and I had met a, uh, a, an entrepreneur that was trying to solve the problem of aging, growing old, metabolic aging. And I thought, you know, I want to stay this age forever. And I inherently believe that when we put our resources and our minds to things uh, collaboratively, we can solve any problem. And I believe, um, and I think the last 20 years have validated that we are moving in this direction, that we will, in fact, solve the problem of metabolic aging as a species. And uh, it it, it appears as though there's quite a direct relationship between the, the way the body ages and levels of a coenzyme called NAD inside our cells. NAD stands for nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide, NAD, which is a very well-known and well-researched coenzyme that declines under metabolic stress. And, of course, growing old is metabolically stressful. We're going to take a time out right now, Rob. We'll come back in a couple of moments and continue and find out more about Chromadex and... Um, their product line and how they're going to help all of us age more gracefully, if you will, um, and and to be able, as you said, to stay to stay young, uh, you know, like you're in your 30s. Uh, I'm Mark Allen, along with the insane Daryl Wayne. Be sure to join us at Facebook dot com slash late night health radio and visit us at late night health. Dot com. I'm Mark Allen. We turn it back to uh, Daryl Wayne. You're listening to Late Night Health with Mark Allen. The show continues in a moment.
Recently, I met Jacqueline from Bright here in Los Angeles. She gave me a hearing exam and then showed me how to hear again with the new Signia Pure Series hearing aids, and she can give you your life back too. I hear birds chirping, birds cooing, and even my wife. They easily connect to my smartphone. The Signia hearing aids are amazing, and with the charge and go, I don't have to fiddle with batteries and hear all day long. Not hearing is frustrating for you and your family. I know you don't have a problem, but trust me, call Bright here now for a free hearing exam, a $125 value, yours free, just for making an appointment now. There are offices throughout the Los Angeles area. Call Bright here now at 323-424-7100. That's 323-424-7100 for a free hearing exam. There's no obligation. Call now, 323-424-7100, or visit them on the web at brighthear.com. If you're listening to Late Night Health right now, you're part of the growing target of baby boomers we're serving. Hi, I'm Daryl Wayne, producer of Late Night Health, inviting you to join the Late Night Health family. If you have any business targeting the growing boomer market, Late Night Health is the ideal advertising vehicle for you. From vitamins to insurance, alternative health to Western-style medicine, Late Night Health caters to the growing population of those over 40 years old. This vibrant demographic has expendable income to fight aging, purchase travel, take care of aging parents, or just have fun. Find out about the advertising opportunities with Late Night Health. Call us at 805-391-0308. That's 805-391-0308 or email us at info at latenighthealth.com. That's info at latenighthealth.com. Join Late Night Health as we empower people to take charge of their own health care. Call now at 805-391-0308. That's 805-391-0308. Late Night Health is proud of our partnership with the EBC, the Evolutionary Business Council. Check them out at ebcouncil.com. You're listening to Late Night Health with Mark Allen. The show continues in a moment. The latest from the greatest, the best in new music by classic rockers, with your host, the insane Daryl Wayne. This is Alice Cooper, and if Daryl Wayne is insane, what does that make me criminally insane? Stick around to find out. Many of the artist interviews for the latest from the greatest have been captured on audiobook. There is a volume one and volume two. Great information and conversations with people in the industry and people surrounded by the industry and of course the rock stars themselves i'm the reverend al green and you're listening to the insane daryl wayne and i said wayne insane you can find it on amazon or blackstone audio search for the latest from the greatest from daryl wayne d-a-r-r-e-l-l-w-a-y-n-e hello this is weird al yankovic and you're listening to the insane Daryl Wayne, aren't you? <laughs> Late Night Health continues. Our guest is Rob Breed. He's the CEO of a global bioscience company. And uh, it's Chromadex. We're going to talk more about that. And anti-aging. Now, uh, Rob, you may not know this, but I just came out with a book. I'll, uh, I'm going to gift you a book. It's called Growing Old Sucks, But It Doesn't Have To. And uh, in the book, we talk about anti-aging. And I make the statement that anti-aging, we, can't, we ha- all have to age. Anti-aging is dead. If you don't age, you're, you're dead. That's, that's my take. But I think that we all want to retain our youth. Today's 70-year-old is yesterday's 40-year-old. I mean, if, you know, looking at, at Robert Young in Father Knows Best, you know, he was in his mid-40s when he was doing that show. And he, he looks even older to me than I think I do. And I'm a little past 40. 45. Any thoughts on that? Well, I believe there will be a scientific and technological solution to metabolic aging. 
I don't believe that humans will age, continue to age. Uh, I, I don't know what it looks like, and I don't know if it's, uh, as, as Ray Kurzweil talks about, a, a singularity solution, in other words, the integration of technology and biology, or if it's a biochemical solution, things like NAD and true knives and nicotinamide riboside, or if it's a data solution, if it's just you know backup storage. But I believe it is a problem that will be solved because many companies are, and many people are investing a great deal of themselves and their resources into solving the problem. And we as a species have a tendency to solve problems once we apply ourselves. Well, that's why we're, uh, we're running the world, not cockroaches, at least right now. <laughs> I think that's true. Uh, let's, let's talk about the fact that Chromadex spends a lot of money on R&D. In, in developing and researching, uh, I guess, anti-aging, cellular anti-aging. Um, and I think that most people, certainly most doctors, don't understand this at all. Uh, can you explain it to us a little bit? Would you like me to discuss the cellular aspect, the MAD aspect, or the Chromadex R&D aspect? Oh boy. Uh, well, let's do. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> you pick. <laughs> well, let's start with Chromadex R and D. So the reason why we focus on cellular health is because of the particular ingredient that we have developed, and that ingredient is called nicotinamide riboside. We call it niagen, and we sell it as niagen, or our product is true niagen. Uh, the reason for that is nicotinamide riboside very, very efficiently and very, very safely elevates NAD levels in cells. When cells have higher levels of NAD, two really important things take place. One relates to mitochondrial function. So there are organelles that exist within all cells called mitochondria that are responsible for converting the nutrients that we consume in food and the oxygen we breathe in from air into energy. That process is called the Krebs cycle. It's a basic thing that we all learned in first level biology. In right. order for mitochondria to execute this Krebs cycle, to create energy, it requires this coenzyme called NAD. When there are elevated levels of NAD, not only are mitochondria more efficient, but there are actually more mitochondria Elevated NAD levels increases what they call mitochondrial biogenesis, the creation of mitochondria. So in essence, you will have more actual energy at the cellular level by elevating NAD levels by taking niagen uh, without eating more calories. The second thing that happens when you elevate NAD levels at a, ce at a cellular level is an increase in the effectiveness and the number of enzymes that are referred to as PARP, P-A-R-P, PARP, enzymes. PARP enzymes are also very well understood and very well known that these are the enzymes, enzymes within the cell responsible for identifying and repairing damage inside the cell. So the World Health Organization defines aging as the accumulation of damage at the molecular and cellular level. But really, what a lot of the anti-aging scientists look at today is the diminished ability for the cell to heal, repair itself as damage takes place. An example of damage would be DNA damage or oxidative stress or inflammation, et cetera, or uh, infection, frankly. Mm -hmm. When there's a presence of an infection, what we see is an immediate reduction in NAD levels. Why? Because that NAD is used to activate the PARP enzymes to eliminate or, 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 or reject the infection. So when you elevate the NAD levels, your cell is better equipped to deal with infections or better able to deal with DNA damage or breakages or oxidative stress or inflammation. Virtually every disease that we associate with aging, with growing old, is also associated with reduced NAD levels. And that would be diabetes, uh, yeah. uh, cancer, I mean, heart disease? That if you go online and you do a search for any disease that you can think of, and, and NAD or NAD plus, as it were, uh, you will see some research or some study or some article uh, showing the relationship between NAD and 
uh, and that condition. So mm -hmm. the idea here is what happens if we find a way to elevate NAD levels? And this is what Chromodex's focus has been. Chromodex has developed this ingredient called nicotinamide riboside. Like I said, we sell it as niagen. If anybody is marketing nicotinamide riboside or selling it, it is not, and it's not called niagen. It's, it's either outside our patents or it's not FDA. It doesn't have an FDA NDI, as you know. Um, right. it, it's not the ingredient that Chromodex is, is making. But what we have shown now with numerous published clinical studies, 11, and dozens of preclinical studies, those being either animal studies or dish studies, is that by taking true niogen or nicotinamide riboside, you can safely elevate NAD levels in cells. And now we've seen a whole long collection of benefits of mitochondrial function, of energy function, and then various conditions that are benefited by elevating NAD levels. We only have a, a, about two minutes left, and so we'll have to have you back sometime in January, and we'll, we'll talk about um, uh, regulations and FDA and things like that. With true niogen, will I feel a change? Will I feel differently? Yes. You might not feel differently in the first three, two or three weeks, but if you take it over a period of time, you know, really the best way I do it, you know, we sell it on Amazon, and at the base, at the bottom of the Amazon page, there are all kinds of ratings and comments. Right. Now, as you know, there are trolls that go in there and try to write snarky, gnarly things, but there are literally hundreds, if not thousands, of reviews there, and if you read it over time, you'll see what people experience, and it's, there's a fairly high level of consistency there. What people initially experience is obviously higher energy levels. Now, I know a lot of dietary supplements claim that, but we have metabolic, scientific, published clinical evidence that shows that actual energy, mitochondrial function, is increased. Now, when you feel energy, you could, it's not a stimulant. It's not like a cup of coffee or caffeine that stimulates the brain. It's not sugar. It's actual energy. And it doesn't, it's not a hormonal thing. So you may not actually feel it, but most people do. But over time, what the best thing to do is just analyze your body's performance over two or three months. See how you perform in your exercise levels, on, your, on the amount you exercise, on the depth of your sleep, on the way you live your life, and then ultimately see if it actually has a, a therapeutic benefit on whatever thing that is, but is troubling you. What I'm going to do is uh, invite people to go to chromadex.com. You can find out more about uh, the product, and you can also go to uh, amazon.com and uh, look up uh, 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 True Niagen. That's T-R-U-N-I-A-G-E-N. -E Rob, will you come back sometime? Yeah, it'd be my pleasure. Thank you for the invite. All right, good, thank you. Hold on a second. I'm Mark Allen, along with the Insane Daryl Wayne Conversations with Daryl and Mark coming up. Sometimes it's not what you say, it's how you say it. Words are a critical aspect of success. How you get your point across is a crucial part of what makes anything sell. So do it right and hire a writer. Whether it's articles, blog posts, technical writings, website content, product descriptions, or ghost writing anything from a novel to a nonfiction book about your navel, contact Servette Hassan. If you want it to sell, write it right. Email Servette at Servette at ServetteHassan.com. 